Hi, my name is Margaret Bloom. Here I have some iron filings next to a magnet. And just as expected, you can see how the, the uh, iron oxide acts in, in the presence of a magnet. Very predictable. This is what we would expect. Right. But now we bring that same magnet next to some nano-sized particles of iron oxide. And we see something quite different and amazing. It's, it's what? It's called a ferrofluid. Ferrofluid. You can buy them. It's a product that's been sold for over 50 years. Right. Um, Ferro being iron. Yep. Just a solution of, of uh, about 50 nanometer iron particle, iron oxide particles in a liquid. So, what's uh, explain again? What what's the sort of the purpose of this experiment? What what are you showing? Well, here, <coughs> um, showing that the, if you look at this, it's not really the the fluid itself is not really acting like a liquid because liquids take the shape of their container. Liquids don't have their own shape, but it's not a solid because solids are, e are difficult to deform. I looked it up on Wikipedia, okay. you know, because it's been a while, and I forget those things, you know. Right. So it's not really a solid or a liquid. It's something quite in between. Um, and people use it to leverage the, uh, the benefits of being near solid-like and liquid-like. For example, one of the applications that's been used um, in the market for years is as a liquid O-ring because it can leverage the good properties of a liquid and the good properties of a solid without the negative properties of either. You know, and get high, highly our rotating uh, parts, high-speed rotating parts, you know, will rotate better with a liquid, you know, but then the liquid would never stay in place. A weak magnetic field can hold the ferrofluid in place, make right. a seal, and really have very free rotation of the high-speed parts right. without the wear and the abrasion and degradation of solid versus solid. Right. So it's, it's a fascinating material. You know, in hindsight, we can explain why it does what it does because the high surface area of the nanoparticles form a, a, a sort of network with the fluid, and you get the uh, the, the uh, manifestation of the magnetic field with these spikes. That's awesome. So, what would uh, how would GE um, since we're here, we are at GE Research. How would GE um, take advantage of this of this? Well, we could use it, you know, in this liquid O-ring. Yeah. But what we're doing is something a bit different um, in, in looking at, at different applications for healthcare that don't quite uh, leverage this property, but lever leverage the outstanding magnetic properties of the iron oxide our particles when they get this small. Because we're using them as a, for contrast, our contrast agents for diagnostic imaging. Because mm. when you get to nanometer, about 10, less than 10 nanometers, the particles become super paramagnetic and they have very intense signal in a magnetic field. And so you can use them as a contrast agent, inject into the blood, and when you're doing your MR images, you can use it to highlight, you know, different functionality in the body. Wow. So we can diagnose disease earlier and uh, with more confidence.